been six months. I haven't practiced at all. I'm changing up what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing what I was doing, but I'm gonna be talking about movies, shows, games, shows, etc. I watch all this stuff, so I think I can get decent reviews and insight. We'll see how it goes. I'm also gonna just be doing some light incline bench today. I'm gonna to ease back into it. Um, and of course, I'm gonna be going over Deadpool and Wolverine. I know I'm a bit, I'm a bit late. I'm, a, I'm more than a bit late, but I thought we'd go over it. It's still, still in cinemas, still good. All right. So, generally, overall, I enjoyed the movie. I thought oh, I should have stretched. I'm an actual idiot. I'm a really big fan of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, so it was kind of like I didn't. I knew I wouldn't dislike the movie, but first and foremost. The music choices throughout the movie were very good. Fantastic, even. The color was Bye Bye Bye. Life is a... I don't even know, I'm still trying. But yeah, the music scenes, music choice, everything really well, worked really good. Um, Hugh Jackman, easily the star of the film. Um, definitely gave the most emotional performances. The jokes, overall, I thought were pretty good. Although, there are a lot of misses and a lot of kind of, I don't know, cringe or predictable jokes, but that's kind of just Deadpool, I guess. First watch is really good. Um, I do think a lot of the scenes rely heavily on the shock factor and the cameos, and there's actually nothing really interesting happening in the plot. The real weaknesses of this movie, I think the plot is just a lot of nothing majority of the time. Secondly, the villains just aren't that interesting. Um, I do like that it at least ties in a bit to the other Marvel shows recently, but... Compared to recent MCU though, it was very good. Um, and I think that gave me like a, a kind of false perception after I first watched it that it was better than it actually is. The past week or so, I went back and watched a bunch of the older Marvel stuff. Relative to the new stuff, it's great. Relative to the old stuff, it's kind of mid. But it's still good. Like I don't really know if you put Deadpool in with the other with the other things in the series because it's just very different. It's very different. Um, uh, the wind blew, and now my face is stuck. In regards to the cameos, I do think they were like really good choices, and they didn't overdo it too much. I think it was a pretty perfect amount. Um, I, like, you do get the feeling that more is just going to keep coming and coming, but... <sighs> I actually will get lessons, I promise. Definitely fan service galore. If you haven't seen it yet, and you're still planning to, I don't recommend thinking too hard when you're watching it. Um, if, if you think too hard, some scenes kind of get ruined um, with like paradoxes and stuff, but um, just, it's a fun movie. I feel like that's the main appeal of it. Very fun, I liked it, I saw it twice. Second time was because the first time the theater was a bit loud, I couldn't hear, fuck all. Cause no one shuts up. I can't hear what's happening. Especially the, um, one of the characters, kind of with this color scheme. I'm just looking to make a name for myself. Overall, if I was to give it a rating, I would give it, um... Seven sexes, point... Three barbells. That would be my rating. Um, I'm really hoping that I stay consistent this time. I'll be watching more recent shit, so I'll be out of a, you know, right at the gate. No more of this delays. And yeah, Mary had a little sex, making a comeback. If you have any uh, things you want me to review, I was gonna review uh, the the Black Wukong. That doesn't sound correct, but you know what I'm talking about. But my PC couldn't handle it, so have a saxophone bay. <laughs>
I'll see you all in the next review. Jackson Timberlands. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I should not. <laughs>